given the time frame, I call it Yukihira brand. Use what you've got. Holy mackerel burger. What's cooking, YouTube? Welcome to the last episode of Food War February. Let's get started. The ingredients are canned mackerel and soy sauce. I got this at the Asian market. I already pre-diced some onions. We have two eggs, one for the soup and one for the macro burger. We have a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. We have our ponzu, one clove of garlic, panko, and dried squid for the soup. We're gonna start by opening up the can of macro. We need to save the juice because that's gonna be later for the sauce. Once the fillets are onto the plates, it is time to remove all the bones in the middle. Carefully pull apart the mackerel fillets. As you can see right here, the bones are going to be quite brittle because they are canned. That's okay. Just be as delicate as you can and remove all the bones. Once the bones are removed, go ahead and put it into your mixing bowl. I decided to give the bones to Olivia because she's been a good girl while I was filming this and wanted to give her a treat. Back to what we were doing. Go ahead and add the onions into the mixing bowl. After you add the onions, then add the one clove of garlic. Add the one egg into the mixing bowl. And the last step you're going to need to do is add the panko. Uh, you do not have to season it because the macro is already in soy sauce. Mix it up very well. Keep mixing it, breaking down the macro. And once you actually get into a nice consistency while adding more panko to have that nice binding element, we are going to then form the patty. While using your hands, you can go ahead and start to form a ball with the macro burger. I'm testing to see how much liquid is left in there. If there is a lot of liquid, go ahead and add some more panko. But right here, as you can see, I actually have a nice macro burger ball formed. I'm tossing it back and forth in my hands. You can do it any way you'd like, just to make sure that it is nice, compact into a ball. Once it is nice and formed into a ball, go ahead and press it down onto the plate, forming the burger macro patty. Make sure there are no cracks into the patty, otherwise it is going to fall apart on you when you are cooking it. As you can see, this is a perfectly round patty. Onto the cooking process now, go ahead and add your leftover juice that you saved from the canned macro. Then you're going to add the ponzu and bring it up to a medium heat. I wanted to show you my fish dish here because I thought it was adorable. Bring the sauce up to a simmer. Once it's at a simmer, go ahead and add your cornstarch slurry. Slowly add the slurry a little bit at a time so it doesn't get too thick. Once it's at the right consistency, as you can see right here, I have it to where it's coating the spoon. You are good to go. Remove it for the pan and save it for later. Now into the macro burger. Make sure your pan is at a medium heat. We're gonna go ahead and add some grapeseed oil here. And then we're gonna try to carefully add the macro burger without having it break apart. Once it is cooking on one side, go ahead and cook it for about five minutes. Once it's done on the five minutes, then go ahead and carefully flip the macro burger over so it doesn't fall apart. As you can see right here, I accidentally messed it up, but I did a very quick recovery onto the macro burger to where it's nicely formed again and we're good to go. So we're cooking the macro burger on the other side for another five minutes. Then we're going to remove it off the heat so it finishes cooking and start on our egg drop soup. For the egg drop soup, we're going to add two cups of water into a pot. Then we're going to add not one, but two squid tentacles into the pot to produce a nice unami flavor. Once we have the squid tentacles in there, we're going to bring it up to a simmer and extract as much flavor as we can from the squid. This is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes for it to steep. After 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and remove the squid tentacles from the pot and now we're going to add the remaining cornstarch slurry that we saved into the pan to thicken up the soup. Slowly create a vortex. As you can see, I'm using a fork to swirl it around to where it's nice and thick. Once the stock is thick, we're going to add the other egg that we saved into the pot. We're gonna slowly add it a little bit at a time to where we create those nice ribbons. And once we add all the egg into the pot, you have your egg drop soup. Now that the soup is done, I'm going to do one final taste test to see if it needs anything. It did need some salt. Now that the soup is done, we're on to plating. So for the plating, we're going to add the macro onto the plate itself. Nice and delicately so it does not fall apart. Then we're going to add that sauce that we had on top. So it has that nice glaze to the actual burger. It looks really, really good so far. Then we have our egg drop soup. 
Don't mind the canned tuna in the back right. I forgot to throw it away while filming this. And we have our rice to finish it up for the actual final product of Shokogeki Season 1, Episode 4. Now, time to taste. There you have it, viewers. I have my macro burger right here. I was a little nervous to try this, but had to give it a try because I try all my food war dishes. I had the first bite, was not sure how I felt about it, but shortly after you could see the smile on my face with the first bite. And then I had to follow up with an additional bite because it was just too good to pass up. And with that second bite, I decided to do a third bite because I could not resist the actual deliciousness of this macro burger then i had to try the egg drop soup not sure how well that would turn out but with the smile on my face as you can see right there it was actually really delicious and i highly recommend you viewers try this dish for sure because it is super awesome so please go ahead and leave a like subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss any other episodes of my videos i'm chef salty and i'll catch you guys next time.